All right, so I'm going to just uh, quickly show you. All right, so I'm going to show you um, AEM Script Console plugin for IntelliJ, uh, and this is really just a kind of um, in in IntelliJ IDE front end for the ACS AIM Fiddle um, tool, which just allows you to kind of execute um, ad hoc scripts um, and it provides sort of a, a script or code playground for you uh, as you develop. Um, so instead of having to jump over to your web browser and using the AIM uh, Fiddle app in in uh, AIM itself. Uh, you can just do this straight from your uh, IDE, uh, which is pretty handy and convenient and, and saves a little context switching. Um, so the first thing we want to do is just install our plugin. Uh, so it's in the marketplace, so just go uh, go to IntelliJ plugins and search for AM Script Console and just install this. And you'll need to restart your IDE just like uh, you would for any IntelliJ plugin. And this works on uh, Ultimate uh, as well as CE. Um, it is only tested on this latest version here. Um, it does uh, store some passwords and stuff, so you may need to uh, to enter your your uh, your password like I just did. Um, and the way this works is it it lets you create new run configurations. Uh, and it actually looks like I already had one, but let me let's just go ahead and delete this. Uh, um, so I can add a new configuration, and I can call this uh, call this whatever I want. I'll do um, console demo, and it just takes a, a host, uh, which is going to be your AM host. Um, if you have a servo context, you could put it uh, right after here. Uh, but since most of the time you don't when you're doing development, uh, it's fine. You can leave it, and it, you connect uh, to AM to execute the scripts, um, and this is going to be the username and password to do that. Uh, typically it's admin, and since this is usually for local development uh, anyhow, um, this is typically fine. The default resource path is if you want to change the, uh, the resource path, the scripts, the context the scripts are executed in. I think by default AM Fiddle executes against the um, AM Fiddle pages, the JCR content node. Um, so you can actually override this even on the, the script level as well. Uh, we can take a look at that too. Um, so you have a little test connection. Uh, we're able to actually connect to um, our AM instance, you know, if we type out our password. Uh, we can get things like invalid credentials to help us kind of guide us through the way. Um, we need to install ACS AM tools to get this run to run because uh, it uses AM Fiddle. So let's just go ahead and click this button and this will install that. And we can test again. And there we go. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, let's save it. Um, and now you see we have a new run configuration up here. And this is what we're going to use in order to execute our, our uh, scripts. Um, so I'm going to just drill into uh, a Java project here uh, that I have. Um, so typically, you know, these scripts aren't anything that you would uh, store in, in uh, SCM, at least not in your main project. Maybe you have a little uh, uh, a script project that you, you keep around. Um, but the nice thing about putting it in a Java project is you can get some of the auto completion, um, especially if you're using um, like JSBs or the servlets uh, in, um, in IntelliJ. Uh, and I believe, um, I believe the big the biggest drawback here with IntelliJ Community Edition is uh, they don't support the JSP syntax highlighting. Um, so if you want to use those as your as your kind of your uh, your uh, primary script type um, to code in, uh, that would be um, you know that that could be a, a little a little harder for you. Um, and keep in mind that uh, you you know of course shouldn't be using JSPs for your actual actual components and things like that. Uh, but JSPs do provide a nice um, uh, basically a nice script language uh, for you to write, uh, you know, basically Java code and execute it um, without any sort of kind of weird uh, DSLs or figuring anything else out. You have full access to um, pretty much pretty much all the Java APIs there. So uh, I'm just going to make a new folder called Playground, and uh, under New we have a couple uh, skeletal scripts, uh, so I can uh, uh, pick um, any of these. Um, HTML is you know HTML. Um, ECMA is J, uh, JavaScript and JSP is, uh, of course, JSPs. And I think if you're in a, um, uh, uh, Java project itself, um, like the bundle project, uh, you should have one for the, for Java servlets, I believe as well. Uh, it should show up a little higher up. Anyhow, uh, let's just do that. Oops. Oops. No. Let me, uh, uh let's see. I'll do demo. And uh, these kind of provide a little skeletal um, framework for you uh, that kind of 
remind you some of the, the common uh, variables that are available and kind of set a few things up like um, the uh, session or the, the page manager and things like that. Uh, of course, you can add whatever you want uh, and write any, any code that you want here um, at all. Uh, but let's just go ahead and execute this to see what it looks like. So I'll just run it against my run config. Uh, get a little bit of output here telling me it's been um, what what happened, uh, where it was run, by whom, how long it took, etc. Uh, and then it was executed successfully. Uh, and then here's the output down here. Um, one thing to note is uh, it will run whatever the active uh, files contents is, and um, even if it's not saved. Right, so I just added a couple exclamation points. I haven't saved it. If I run it again, uh, I get a new tab here. Um, it's going to be the first active tab. Always is, is the latest tab run, and it's got the my new exclamations on it, even though I didn't save this file. So it uh, it provides a pretty pretty quick um, uh, cycle for uh, for making changes and running things against AEM and seeing the output here. All right, um, let's go ahead and make a new file. Let's just make a JSP this time. Uh, demo two. Um, and, uh, as you can see here, you know, if I was going to use, uh, uh, other things I can, um, you know, I have the, since I'm in IntelliJ, uh, in a Java project, uh, it does do some of this auto completion for me, which is, which is pretty handy. Um, but I won't use any of that for now. Um, but I could do things like, um, so let's, uh, let's print out how old my, uh, my dog will be, uh, in August. Uh, so let's see, uh, years old. And I think, uh, I think dog years are seven years. I don't know. Uh, she's going to be 13. She's going to be, going to be an old, uh, an old pup. Um, so let's see. Ira is going to be, and of course, you know, uh, this is just using the normal JSP syntax, which is pretty nice and and uh, pretty pretty well understood by everybody. Um, and I can uh, I can just run my script, and there you go. Um, it, it'll execute it all and, and uh, print out the output. Um, I can also do things, uh, and this is kind of one of the one of the things I, I really like to do with uh, this tool is I always forget um, what I can uh, what I can uh, adapt to um, in AEM. Um, so, for instance, can I uh, adapt a um, a page uh, object to say to a resource? Uh, so I can just uh, I can easily do things like uh, current page adapt. To uh, page dot class, and uh, you know, print out what that is. Uh, let's see what this is. Um, and it looks like um, looks like we actually have an error here, so we we can see what the error condition looks like. So it actually highlights a little red here, uh, and it gets the um, um, uh, gives me the the exception and everything. Um, and we can see that I typoed here, shouldn't have been resource, or it shouldn't have been page, it should have been resource. So I can run it again, and yep, looks like uh, we can adapt uh, a page uh, to a resource, and it's going to be the CQ page node, um, rather than, let's say, the JC or content node. Uh, so it's, it's pretty handy to uh, to be able to figure out without having to jump into the Fugles console or uh, dig up some Java docs. Um, you can just quickly execute one line of code and see uh, what's going on. Anyhow, um, I think that is about it. I uh, hope you guys uh, that use IntelliJ enjoy. Thanks. Bye.